in the world every century, um, and two or three that are that are fairly big, but not. Mm -hmm. I mean, the biggest one we we've, we've had was in 1815, in right. the last couple hundred years, and then and uh, uh, then there have been other uh, three others of, that are ten times smaller than that uh, over that period of time. But uh, anyway, the, we, we understand which volcanoes are potentially mm -hmm. dangerous. Mm -hmm. We observe when these volcanoes begin to show some signs of activity. Mm -hmm. We're doing much better at beginning to say this activity is getting serious enough that people should be evacuated. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that's, what's really nice is you guys can do, predict it better than earthquakes. Yes, we can. Uh, I was actually in charge in the 1970s of the National Earthquake Prediction Program. Mm -hmm. This was a time when we were we were seeing anomalies that we could measure occurring months to years before an earthquake. And we thought it might be possible to predict the time of arrival of earthquakes. Mm -hmm. The more we studied it, the more we realized that the actual trigger point when the earthquake happens is very, very difficult to predict. And we're nowhere near doing that yet. Right. But we can, again, predict pretty clearly where the big earthquakes are most likely to occur. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we said uh, 28 years ago in the San Francisco area, mm -hmm. that the next big earthquake in the San Francisco area was likely to have a 67% chance of occurring in the next 30 years along the Hayward Fault on the east side of San Francisco Bay. That's correct. And when that earthquake occurs, it could be the most expensive earthquake in U.S. history. Um, yeah, no, I, of the development of all the land right along the fault. Right, I want to tell you something, too. You know, Alaska just had a 7.1 earthquake. I did some, but going back and doing some research study here. Uh, remember um, back in 64, uh, Alaska had a 9.0, remember 1964. Um, and one year later, Seattle had also a 7.8. Now, because Alaska just had a 7.1, Seattle, I think, is due next year for a, for a big earthquake. And also, it's locked. The, 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 the Cascadia, the, the Cascadia um, uh, fault is locked right now. It's locked. Well, the Cascadia Fault is certainly a potential for a major earthquake in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, 900 it miles. Every, it would affect everything from uh, Cape Mendocino in California all the way up to Vancouver. That's correct. It would be a gigantic earthquake. Yeah, it would be. And, and we're overdue. But we don't know when that's likely to happen. We're overdue. By two it's, pretty common, it's pretty common after a big earthquake for people to get excited that there's another big earthquake somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But the more we study the links, uh, we're having trouble seeing a direct relationship. There is some exciting new data uh, that show that there could be some linkage, but at this point, it's certainly not reliable. Well, it's and, not, it's uh, not exciting. Well, it's it's dangerous. Clearly, that a major earthquake is expected in the Pacific Northwest. A major earthquake, a little smaller, is expected in the San Francisco Bay region. Um, and in many other areas, we could say that an earthquake is, is expected, or I should say anticipated, but the fact is it may not occur for another hundred years, even several hundred years. Uh, yes. And part of what we do as scientists is try to come up with a better estimate of when it is likely to occur. Well, the best way to do it is what, um, who was that? The, um, uh, scientists. Um, anyway, he looked at the stars in comparison to uh, Galileo. That's right, Galileo. Galileo compared the the, the stars to um, the alignment of the Earth, and that's how you got earthquakes sometimes. Galileo did that. Well, um, it's been a great effort for since the time of Galileo and even before to try to understand how nature works. Mm -hmm. And we have 
gotten better and better at it. Mm -hmm. We're still not there. No, they're not. And when you look at the earthquake in Japan uh, that would cause so much damage a couple of years ago, that earthquake was in general anticipated, but we we failed at uh, um, predicting not only when it would occur, but the damage that it was going to do. I mean, the, term, the, the fact that the cooling stations for the nuclear power plant were down next to the ocean where they got damaged by the tsunami right. uh, was a, a fundamental mistake in engineering. And uh, we it was not realized until after the fact, unfortunately. Well, 